and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to cover Panduit's high capacity cabling systems and their application for today's telecom rooms and data centers. So a quick agenda for the next 30 minutes. Uh, first I'll discuss some of the common problems we see with cable management products out in the field. Uh, then I'll go over some of the basic needs for those products to be effective. Next, I'll talk about some of the changes in the network driving the need for higher capacity products. And then finally, I'll show you ways to improve and condense your cabling systems, which will save time and money, uh, two things that we're all very interested in. So why don't we get started? Uh, so this may seem unusual. It's actually very common occurrence in TRs across the globe. So how does this happen? There's many, there's many reasons why and how uh, this kind of spaghetti mess happens. Um, but probably the most common reason is improperly sized management. Now, many times this can be the result of upgrading cabling performance without reviewing the cable management products at the same time. So when we upgrade from say CAT6 to CAT6A, a lot of times that'll bring a cable diameter increase as well. So we always wanna make sure we uh, review the cable management products and that they have enough capacity to manage that increase in, uh, in diameter for the new cables. Other causes uh, can also be poor products themselves, maybe poor routing techniques and even poor identification of ports and cabling. Uh, ultimately, all of these can and will affect the network performance. Now, take a look at this image. This is the same TR, and this is using proper cable management. Now, the risk of network downtime in this solution is significantly reduced. So, what are some of the basic needs for an effective cable management system? First and foremost is the correct size you have to verify prior to purchasing the products that they're going to provide enough capacity for your needs. Not only for day one installation, but you'll also need to future proof and plan for additional capacity as your business grows. Now, Panduit recommends no more than 30% fill day one installation, and then no more than 50% fill at any point of the deployment. Now, if you pass a 50% fill, uh, we would recommend to reevaluate your cable management products and move to a higher density solution. Um, so one thing to keep in mind, though, this doesn't only mean the main channel of the product. Uh, this will also include any type of D-ring or manager finger as well. So it's always very important to verify that the space between the fingers or within a D-ring has enough capacity for the switch or patch panel located at that RU in the rack. And this is especially important when we're talking about high density patch panels or high density chassis style switches. So it's always important to verify that, that finger capacity as well. Now, one of the most, if not the most important component of a quality cable management system is bend radius control. Any channel where cable is routed should be void of any sharp edges or pinch points. Now you can see in the image on the right that poor bend radius control creates a larger point of force on the cable, and that can create kinks or micro bends. Over time, this will negatively affect the cable performance, and in some cases, it will immediately affect the performance, uh, and we typically see that more so with fiber cable. Now, if you look at the lower picture on the right, you can see that proper bend radius, the force is distributed across the cable. And this eliminates any uh, concern for sharp bends. So very important for uh, cable management fingers. So another uh, basic need to help protect your network is a door or cover for the cable manager. So not only will this give your solution a nice clean aesthetic, which we all agree is preferred, uh, but it will also prevent any cables from being inadvertently snagged on or tugged uh, especially while the cable is transmitting data uh, that could send the network it straight into downtime. And the last basic need is the need for speed. We all know time is money. 
Telecom rooms and data centers often require very quick startup or modification. When time is very important, you need products that can be deployed very quickly. Optimal solutions require limited or no assembly at all. Uh, simple and easy installation is always key. Ease of use is also critical to provide lowest total uh, cost of ownership. For example, products that have been radius control built into them are much faster and easier to use than adding accessories that incorporate Ben Radius Control Day 2. So we should always take this into account as well when uh, looking to procure product. So now that we have the basic needs down, I want to talk about some of the major changes occurring in the network and really what's driving the need for higher capacity products. Now, first off, there's a transition from Category 6 to Cat 6A cabling. And this will typically bring about a 35% increase in uh, cord and cable volume for UTP networks. There's also the convergence of IT equipment into existing TR space. So we're putting more and more devices onto the network, such as uh, wireless access points, um, security cameras, and other PoE devices. We're also seeing larger chassis style switches going into this space, and those take up more real estate. And this is all being done in confined space. So many times the space dedicated to TR rooms and data centers is actually shrinking, even though we're putting more and more equipment in these rooms. And finally, this is something that is uh, more of a new practice and philosophy that we're seeing is the need to rapidly churn TR closets. And this is especially at larger customers who massively change the TR to scale it up or down or reconfigure. And these are big changes, and that's what's driving the need to change with our infrastructure. So now let's take a look at Panduit's products and how these can help. So of Panduit's three main vertical cable management lines, uh, you can see here, today we're going to discuss the middle and the, and the product on the right there. Uh, these are our Patch Runner 2 families. And first, we're going to focus on the Patch Runner 2 or the PR2V products. Now, you can see some of the benefits I've listed here, the products, and I'll go into each one of these in a little bit more detail in the, in the coming slides. But first and foremost is the best-in-class door, so super easy functioning door. Uh, we did improve the aesthetics of this. More and more people like to show off their network, so we did uh, give it a real nice, clean aesthetic. Uh, one of the most important things a lot of the folks on the call today um, will enjoy out of this product is the reduced labor cost. Uh, we also, with this product, we can save floor space uh, and reduce real estate costs. And then finally, uh, very simple to order. So the push the push the closed door. Uh, it's very similar to, say, your car door, where there's no actuation required to close the door. So you just slam it shut. Um, you don't have to engage the handle like many of the other products out on the field. It does have a nice ergonomic turn knob handle, so it's very easy to use. Um, it's dual hinging, so it can open from the left or the right. It's also very easy to remove and reinstall. You just turn both the knobs at the same time. The door can come off. It's very lightweight, so it's easy to maneuver. And then to put it, put it back on, you just line up the hinge pins and push it on. So there's really no learned activity with the door and the door functionality. Really easy to use. Now, some of the highlights of the product. Uh, as I discussed, we do have the new aesthetics with the nice molded end caps to give it a nice clean look. Uh, the turn knob handles for good functionality. One thing we did improve with this manager, too, compared to a lot of the products out on the field, is the improved latching mechanism. And what we did with this is we made it much less force required to get that latch to secure that hinge pin, um, both at the top and the bottom. So what basically what that need, means is you just need less force to close the door and make sure that it's fully secured and closed. Uh, that's going to reduce the risk of any door falling off uh, out in the field, and it makes it much easier to use. Another nice benefit is the integrated door brackets. So these come fully assembled, ready for installation. And the nice thing is the manager will actually sit on the floor too. So when you're installing this manager, you can stand it up next to the rack. Uh, it's really a one-person install. 
a few bolts and it's done. Uh, so you don't need two people. You don't need somebody to kind of hold it in place while another person bolts. Uh, so really nice and easy and quick installation. So now talking about installation, uh, super fast um, to unpack and to install. So there's absolutely no assembler required with this product. Everything comes pre-assembled, the doors come pre-installed, ready for installation. You can see the photo here. This is an actual photo of an installer looking to, uh, to install the product. The product comes in a single carton. You basically open up one end of the carton, slide the product out, stand it up next to the rack, install a few bolts, and it's done. Really the fastest install on the market for a premium product like this. And that's going to significantly reduce your labor costs. So we, you know, we knew this was uh, a pretty big deal in regards to uh, installation time and, and labor cost. So we took it a step further and we said, you know, we wonder how this compares against some of our main competitors out there. So what we did is we, we did a time study here and we, we took it in different steps, one to unpackage, uh, unpackage any accessories, install any accessories, install to the rack. So you can see here with the Panduit's Patch Runner 2 product, it took actually less than three and a half minutes to install the product from carton of rack fully installed. Our first competitor we did was about 10 and a half minutes per manager. And the second competitor we looked at was about 11 minutes per manager. Um, it may not seem very significant in that regard, but when you start adding the time up, right, and you look at, say, say you're doing a fairly large job site of 100 managers, the time needed to install Patch Runner 2 is about five and a half managers, where the first competitor you're looking at about 17 and a half hours, and the, and the second competitor you're looking at over 18 hours. So with the Patch Runner 2, now just to install the vertical cable managers on the job site, you're looking at over a full day saved in labor hours. So really some significant time savings and, and labor costs there involved as well. Another nice benefit of this product is the increased cable capacity. So the way we were able to manage this is we were able to stretch the depth of the manager to give it more capacity, leaving the width the same. That way it doesn't increase the footprint of the, uh, of the product width-wise. Um, another benefit here is you're able to upgrade to like a smaller gauge cable and that will give you even more capacity and in that case, you may be able to actually shrink the width of the product uh, to save floor space. Um, and then with the added capacity, you're able to, uh, that allows for future expansion as well. As we mentioned earlier, you know, you don't want to fill more than 30% on day one and uh, no more than 50% on day two. So another nice benefit too of the added capacity is it does uh, allow you to make easier moves ads and changes with more capacity in there it gives you more space another nice benefit of this product is it is reversible so the capacity in the product is split 60 40 front and rear now if you need more capacity on the back side you can mount it onto the rack that way or if you need the 60 percent on the front side you can flip it and mount it that direction as well so it is reversible um, nice versatility to the product. Now I wanted to show a quick scenario here of how this can save floor space and, and maybe some, some cost as well. So in the current solution, say we're using CAT6 24 gauge patching, right, with 10 inch wide managers. And with that solution, you can manage just under 500 cables per manager. Now, if you were to upgrade your cable performance from CAT6 to CAT6A, at the same time, you would potentially look at upgrading to our small diameter cable, 28 gauge, and that would reduce the diameter of the cable. In that case, you would be able to reduce the width of the manager from 10 inches down to 6 inches, and with that solution, you would be able to actually manage more cable. So you're getting more cables in less space overall, in a two rack lineup here, you can see you would save 12 inches of floor space. And essentially, if you have a, a larger rack lineup, you're gonna save more space. You're, you're gonna essentially save four inches per manager. Now the added benefit here too is, with that, you're gonna save 20 
20% of the price per manager because you're going down from a 10 inch to a six inch. So you're actually gonna get more cables in less space for less money. Now this is a great new tool, Panduit has uh, available on our website uh, in the tools section of uh, panduit.com. It's also, you can also find it in the document section of each of the uh, product pages. Uh, it's a great cable capacity tool, super easy to use. Um, this helps determine which products you should be using for your deployment um, based on the capacity of the product and how many cables you plan to route through it. Um, really easy to use. So in the orange cell there, uh, cell C8, you enter the cable diameter. Uh, then you can choose your drop downs between inches or millimeters. You can choose between simplex or duplex cable if you're running fiber. Um, and then that'll auto auto populate all of our recommended and maximum builds there in the green and red section. And as I mentioned, day one, you shouldn't exceed more than 30% uh, fill, which is the green. And then uh, lifetime of the product, you shouldn't exceed 50% fill. Uh, so super easy to use tool and uh, very, very helpful in determining which products should be used. So here's a quick order guide for our Patch Runner 2 PR2V managers. Uh, basically, we offer every configuration. As I mentioned, the doors do ship with the manager, so it's a single part number. You get the manager and the doors included in one carton. Um, we do offer different variations of that as well. You can get, say, a dual-sided manager with only a door on the front side if you prefer, or if you don't want any doors at all, you can get that configuration as well, and you can get just the manager with outdoors. So basically any configuration you want, uh, we're able to provide in a single part number. Uh, you can see we offer a few different heights, uh, four different widths. We do offer the product in black and white as well as standard products. Now, when I talk about standard white offering, uh, this is something that's fairly new here for Panduit in the enterprise space. So we have had white products for the data center for some time now. Uh, we have seen more of a demand for it in the enterprise space. And really, there's a few reasons why we're seeing that demand. Um, one is just a clean, sleek look of the white product. You can see in the image here, it really looks sharp. Uh, and, and I guess against popular belief, it actually shows less dust than the black. So it looks cleaner as well. Uh, once again, kind of similar to a car, right, where a white car will show less dirt and debris than a black car. So uh, it really does clean up the, the TR room. Uh, it also does uh, reflect the light better, so it really brightens up the room. So not only for installers, but IT technicians, anybody that's in that room working, it really brightens up the room and makes it easier for them to, to work in that space. Uh, we talk about energy savings with white. That's more so in the data center environment, but it definitely is realized. Um, we do offer a full solution in white also. So basically everything you see here, we offer the verticals, the horizontals, the end panels, the waterfalls, the rack, patch panels. Um, basically anything that's going to make a, a full solution there is offered in white as a standard product. So it is stocked and it is returnable. So now I want to switch gears a little bit and talk about our Patch Runner 2 Enhanced version, our, or our PE2V product. And this is kind of our ultra density play here. Um, and you can see the product actually looks very similar to the PR2V. The main, there's really three main differences here. One is the depth of the product. So it gives more capacity than the PR2V. And you can see in the, the bullet point there, it's actually up to 45% more capacity. <clears throat> this actually has the uh, highest capacity of any vertical manager on the market. Now, um, one of the other main differences here is the backbone. You can see uh, the wide open space in the back plane of the manager there. And essentially what that is, is that's what we call zero RU space. And what we've done is we've taken our use space that you would see in a rack, uh, flipped it vertically, and then put it in the backbone of the manager. And I'll go into some of the benefits of that uh, here in the next few slides. 
Now, one thing to point out too <clears throat> with this product is, as I mentioned with the PR2V, that product does come fully assembled ready for installation. Now, this product is slightly different in that it does require a little bit of assembly in the field, um, but really shouldn't slow you down too much. <clears throat> so when we talk about zero RU functionality, right, you can see in the image there, uh, one of the benefits is to put patching in that space rather than in the rack. So the idea here is that um, you would save the rack RU space for some of your larger, more expensive equipment, and then that allows you to move the patching into the vertical channel. Now you can see for the four different widths of this manager that we offer, the amount of RU available in each manager. So for a six inch wide manager, uh, you'll get three sections of two RU, uh, totaling six RU per manager. For a 12 inch, you would get three sections of five RU, uh, which is shown here. So that's gonna give you an additional 15 RU uh, per manager. Um, so when you think about it in terms of total available RU space, say you have a 45 RU rack in a TR room, right? Uh, you add two 12 inch managers to that 45 RU rack. You just went from 45 RU to 75 RU, all within the same footprint. So really some, some great uh, real estate efficiencies gained with this product. You can see here, uh, this is a little bit of a closer up image of the patching. Um, one of the benefits here also of adding the patching to the vertical channel is you can optimize the length of your patch cords. So in a typical deployment, you may have like a larger chassis style switch at the bottom of the rack, uh, and then your patching is routed up through the vertical channel and then patch in at the top of the rack. Uh, with this deployment here, you can patch in directly next to the switch, and that's going to reduce the length of your patch cord. So once again, reducing cost, and it's going to minimize the amount of slack you have to manage in that channel as well. So it really cleans up the whole, the whole space there. And here's just a quick image to kind of show you what that application could look like uh, when fully deployed using a couple switches, a couple large switches in a, in a rack. So there's also added benefits to the zero RU space as well. So there's, you know, obviously you can use it for vertical patching, which I just described, and there's benefits to that. You can also use it for front to back cabling, uh, more so when you're deploying, um, you know, pre-terminated cassettes or bundle pack connectors or things like that, and you're, and you're passing through from front to back. These wide open spaces allow you to easily pass through without any interference. Uh, and then also leaves it wide open for uh, maximum airflow for the active gear as well. <clears throat> Another nice benefit is 19-inch uh, mount accessories. So you can mount anything, any EIA standard 19-inch mount accessory you can mount in here. For example, you could mount a, a horizontal cable manager in here in the three different sections, and that'll give you kind of a channel within the channel. Say you wanted to route uh, fiber cable through there or you can add strain relief bars like shown here for additional tie-off points, or you can add larger depth strain relief bars for copper fiber separation and things like that. So there's lots of different things you can do with this space. 19-inch um, mount PDUs. So if you wanted to add some power in here, you could easily do that, throw a 19-inch mount PDU in there. And then you don't have to worry about mounting a, a PDU off the back end of the rack or, or within the RU space of the rack. Um, another, another great application here also is you can actually put active gear in here. So you can see in the photo on the right there, well, you can add one or two RU switches and then put a patch panel directly next to it and direct switch patch right into that uh, switch and it gives it a nice clean aesthetic and nice functionality. So once again, simplified ordering. We offer the black and white multiple widths. Uh, you can get it with doors, single doors, and so forth. Uh, pretty much the same as the PR2V. So one thing I did want to touch base on here real quick, I know we're getting uh, somewhat short on time. Uh, kind of the evolution of the TR room, right? So when we look at this, the, the red solution there is kind of your lower capacity, traditional four rack lineup for a TR room. 
you can see the total square feet and the annual real, real estate cost associated to that four rack lineup. And then when we look at a lifetime real estate cost of that space over the lifetime of the building, and in this case, we're going to say 50 years, you're looking at an annual real estate cost of about $1.2 million. Now, if you upgrade to uh, the higher density verticals and you change all of your patching to angle patch and you're able to dress your you're patching directly into the hor or the vertical channel rather than using horizontal managers. You can then reduce the overall footprint to about 20 square feet, and then you can see the real the associated real estate cost of those uh, pr drops pretty significantly, cuts it in about half. Taking it a step further, upgrading to the PE2V or the Patch Runner 2 Enhanced, we then moved our patching into the vertical space and we're able to significantly reduce the overall footprint as well. You can see the lifetime real estate cost now dropped to below $400,000 when we started with a cost of about 1.2 million. So some very significant real estate savings here. Um, also, not only the real estate savings, but the labor savings, right? You went from installing four racks down to one rack. You went from purchasing four racks and all the added accessories to purchasing one rack. So once again, some more uh, savings involved with this solution. So I covered a lot of information here in the last 25 minutes. So we do have a ton of collateral that's available on our website. You know, we have the, our part drawings, Revit files, Visio file spec sheets, installation guides. All of this stuff is available on our website. So uh, please go to our website and, and download some of this stuff and, and take a look at it. So real quick, the, the key takeaways for each one of these product sets now. Patch Runner 2, PR2V, quickest one-person install on the market, uh, significant space and labor savings, great looking product, perfect for any application. So it's, it'll go into a data center, it'll go into the telecom room, lab environment, so it really plays in all arenas. Now the Patch Runner 2 Enhanced, this is more of your ultra capacity solution, right? And this allows you to have zero RU functionality. So it's going to lower your real estate costs, it's going to lower your uh, installation costs, and it's going to improve your versatility. Uh, and as I mentioned, we have lots of collateral, so you can go uh, check out the installation guides to get uh, a better feel for what needs to happen uh, in, in that regard. Okay. Or you can reach out to me and I, I can provide you inf information if you have any questions. So. Um, with that, I'd like to pass it back over to Jane, and hopefully uh, we'll take some questions. Thanks, Jeff. We will use this time to answer questions. Please feel free to submit your questions utilizing the chat box on the GoToWebinar app. Looks like we already uh, had a question come in earlier. Is the white product more expensive than the standard black? No. So the white and the black are the exact same price. Oh, great. Um, do you have a list of accessories that are compatible with the Patch Runner 2 managers? Absolutely. So if you go to the website um, and pull up the spec sheet for our Patch Runner 2 product, along the right column of that spec sheet will list all the accessories that are compatible with these products. Okay. Well, it looks like, Jeff, we uh, have no further questions, and we're right at 1030. So I'd like to thank everyone for their time today, um, and this will conclude today's webinar.